welcome to another video on the get fix channel today we have a tlc 50s 455ca model now the tv turns on um, there is sound but you can hear that right but there is no display um, i tried the the usual touch experiment and i do see images in there so it's likely the the backlight is burnt or it could be something else so let's strip it up and then um, let's have a look and see if we will be able to fix it okay so um i've just taken off the screws um we have one two three four and then five so i've taken those screws off so yeah, I think you just okay so you just lift it up okay and that should come off okay these are the screws about five of them okay so um so very basic we have the motherboard I don't see a Ticon board here. Yeah, so it looks like there's a motherboard with the Ticon incorporated and then there's the power supply. So usually the first thing I usually like to do is just check the the backlight. So this is the backlight connector. So so usually what happens is that um, if your backlights are good, usually you will get some you would have a very high voltage of reading here um, if it's bad then you will not get any reading at all and sometimes you will see it light up at this side okay so I'm going to put negative to negative sorry yeah negative to negative but this is the positive one and then the negative hmm okay so I have a reading one one five what yeah one one plus one one two and then it went to one one five with fifty million so it's an indication that the LEDs are good and you can see them it's light it's it's yeah it's lighted up I'm looking at the holes here and uh, it's all light up as you can see so I don't think the problem is an LED for 115 volts it is it is good um, okay one thing I like to do is I'm just going to turn the TV and switch it on and then power the LEDs, the backlight, <coughs> with, I'm going to power the backlights with the, with my LED tester just to check it out and see. So I'm just connecting the backlights directly to my LED tester. Oh, you see? So this is the LED uh, tester powering the backlights, okay? I have 112 volts. Oh, now it has turned to 115 volts. So you see, it's now very clear. So it looks like, it looks like the LED, the, sorry, the backlights are good. <coughs> Yeah, let me switch it off. So we may be having an issue with the motherboard or the power supply. Um, okay, I'll take out the power supply and then we can have a look at it. So basically, I'm going to unplug the motherboard from the motherboard connector yeah yeah two screws here okay. 
Okay, so I have the power supply here, <clears throat> and I think there might be a problem with this diode. This diode, this diode is very close to the backlight connector here, and the reason why I say is that um, when I do continuity test, a diode shouldn't give me that beep because um, when you compare to this ones, for example, see there is no beeps for all of them here <coughs> for all of them here I'm getting uh, I'm not getting any beeps right okay but this this one here I shouldn't be getting that okay in both directions that's this diode here this one here and um, let me put it on uh, let me do voltage uh, check on the voltage see here okay now for um, diodes when you put it in the forward bias you should get see and in the reverse bias I'm getting the same voltage I have a suspicion on this diode here but sometimes it can be tricky okay so I'm going to pull one of the connectors out because sometimes it's good to measure if there is an issue it's good to measure it out of circuit um, well that is what I know <laughs> um, for some of the components I don't know if it applies to diode but I know for capacitors usually it has to come out for you to test but just to be on to be sure I'm going to pull this one one part of it out so and then I ended up just pulling out the diode by itself um, okay, let's see here so bring it closer to the camera so this is where it's, it's supposed to be and yeah when I checked I'm getting okay let me do connect uh, continuity okay so even out of circuit, I'm getting connectivity. Okay. So the diode here has an issue. And even if I put it on voltage, okay. Okay, this is in the forward biased, and I'm still getting the same voltage. So I think this may be the problem. Um, this is a MBR3200. I'll look through my stuff and see if I can find one that um, has the same. I might not get the same thing, but um, find something. I'll do a search online and see if I can find something which has the same specification. You have to get something which has the same specification or the same type uh, of diode. Okay. so I just went through my stuff and um, I found this one here I did do a search on it and um, they have the same specifications as this one and just to prove that this one has an issue this is in continuity mode right uh, no this is actually measuring voltage you see this is the bad one okay this is in the forward biased It's giving me the same voltage. That should not be the case because I'm um, when I do this, see I'm getting a solid voltage of 0 0.468. When I reverse it, I get the OL. Okay. So and even in continuity, I don't have any continuity on this one but I do have a continuity on that one so I'm, I am confident that this may be the problem but um, I'm just going to put it in and then uh, we'll see so make sure you put it in the right uh, put it in the right polarity so I don't know if it's, it's clear enough okay so you see where we have that triangle pointing with the tick 
that should be this side okay that is the cathode that is the negative so make sure you put the negative to the negative like that and um, when you're doing this please be very careful there could still be some power in the in the capacitors so you make sure you don't touch anything behind this that's why I have a cloth here uh, make sure you don't touch anything or make sure that you drain out the power on the capacitors putting some flux here Okay, so I have just um, going to clean it up a bit. Cleaned up with some alcohol. Okay, so I'm going to put it in and then um, we'll test it and see uh, if it goes well. Okay guys, so everything seems to be working okay, um, so the issue was that diode and um, yeah, by changing it, it looks like the thing has been fixed. Um, this may be applicable to other uh, models as well. Um, it will be best to always check the backlight first. Um, if the backlights are good, then you will probably be aiming at your power supply being the problem. If you want to diagnose further, you could check the components or just replace the power supply if or the power board if um, that's what may be the problem. But if it's the backlight, then definitely changing the backlight should solve that uh, problem. And so I checked online that diode was less than about a dollar, well, plus shipping if you were buying on a digi key, for example. So if that is an issue, you basically just need um, an LED tester and also a multimeter to be able to diagnose. You can get this stuff very cheap on Amazon. Uh, you could get it on AliExpress. And for uh, for less than a dollar, well, including the other equipment that you have to buy, the TV is solved. And so we don't have to dump. So I do appreciate you staying with me throughout the video. I would like to thank all those who have subscribed to my new channel. All the comments, all the feedbacks, all the critique. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, I hope to see you in another video. Until then, I'm out.